up guys so today's video is going to be my self tanning routine i know i'm naked right now i'm so Sorry, um, I never start my videos like this, but if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Keaton. I do a lifestyle, college, content, anything like that. Obviously, you guys are not here for that today. You guys are here to learn how to get a good self-tan. This is something that's been highly, highly, highly requested on my channel for so long now because you guys know I am the queen of tanning myself constantly so i'm going to be sharing that with you guys today so this video is sponsored by bondi sands so this is the self tanner that i personally use i have been using this before you guys come for me this is the self tanner that i use i used it last week i used it the week before that i always use this self tanner i love it so i'm going to be using the self tanning foam in dark um, I absolutely love the way this comes out, but before you start self tanning, you guys have never done this before. Obviously, you can tell I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet, I have it in this little bun to keep from getting in the way, but basically, before you self tan, I would recommend taking a shower and shaving, exfoliating your entire body before self tanning. So I just took a shower, I shaved, I did my armpits, legs, everything, and then what I do is use the Bondi Sands Exfoliating Mist. I use this one because I like to get off any old tan that I had on from the week before. Sometimes when I take showers and stuff, it doesn't all come off. And if you guys do struggle with towards get it, towards the end of your tan getting it off, I recommend using an exfoliating mitt. But I'm not just saying this. This is like genuinely the coolest thing ever. This is the Bondi Sands Self Tan Eraser. This literally takes your tan off. It's an instant self tanning removal foam. So it's a white foam. I put it on my applicator mitt, which I'll show you guys. I put it on my applicator mitt um, like you normally would with your self tanner on my skin dry so i put it all over my arms i just did it actually all over my stomach i did my legs and my neck my neck sometimes just my self tanner never comes off from there so i put it on there you leave it on for five minutes hop in the shower with warm water and then you rinse it off and it helps your tan come off way easier i like to use the exfoliating bit it's scrub with that but i would highly recommend this it is seriously the coolest thing ever also, for those of you who are interested in getting Bondi Sands after this video, it is listed in the description bar below. It is also available online and at Walgreens, so you guys can literally go to Walgreens and get like the best self tanner ever. It's so convenient and it's so easy and you could just go home and do it. Like before an event, if you guys have something coming up, literally you can just run to Walgreens, grab it, and use your self tanner before you go. So, now what I'm going to do is shut up and um, start showing you guys how I actually use this self tanner. I do have a bottle here. There's like none left. I use like this entire thing. Um, so, we're gonna open a new bottle. This is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark. Literally, it's so easy. All you do is pump. Oh my God, how beautiful. Onto this mitt. I'm gonna show you guys. Like, look how easy this is. It's literally just a foam, and all I'm doing is rubbing it into my skin. Obviously, I don't wanna show you guys, show you guys my boobs, um, but you literally just rub it in. Sometimes you can see over here, when it gets built up, you just, rub it like that and it blends so naturally with your skin you can already tell like how dark i am right now so i'm not going to do my neck because i'm really weird about doing my neck um with a mitt do my arm like guys this is so good this is like my favorite thing to do this is like my number one pamper hack pamper routine hack like i love self tanning what i also like about this um self tanner is that i've used other self tanners before and i'll go like this over my hands because i'm like obviously i don't want my hands to be like dark or um like whiter than my body so i'll go like that like so easy quick i know i'm missing a nail let's like not talk about it but um I'll go like this over my hands with this self tanner and it doesn't look crazy at all. I've used other self tanners where it's like black all over my hands. Like it's so dark over my hands and then it's like white weird lines and it just looks really embarrassing. I've used that before. They do have other shades, but if you guys are just starting out and you guys are wanting to try out 
self tanning i would recommend getting the dark one it's a good place to start and you can add as much as you want and as less as you want is that the correct term i'm not sure but you can add as much as you want so it's like you don't have to make yourself super dark just because it says dark on it. You can wash it off after a few hours. I personally leave this on for six to eight hours. I normally do it before I sleep and then I go to sleep and I leave it on. So I am gonna show you guys what it looks like after I take a shower, but I leave it on and then I shower. So you guys, if you don't want it as dark, you guys can leave it on for six hours instead of eight and then wash it off. But I want you guys to see, look at this. Look at the difference in my upper body right now compared to my stomach. Like, oh my God. Now we're gonna move on to the stomach. I literally do the exact same thing. I pump it onto the mitt twice. I like to make sure I get the sides. Don't ever forget to do your sides. I'm always so focused on getting the front side of me in my back that I miss like right here. You really wanna make sure that you don't just like put it on there and then rub it in like this really quick and then it's done. Like you need to make sure you're rubbing it into your skin. You want it to look even, you don't want it to be a line. You just want it to look like it's seamless. But look at the difference in my legs. That is crazy. Um, so basically one other thing that I wanted to mention is when you get out of the shower, don't uh, moisturize if you're going to self tear because adding lotion to your skin before you self tan it is going to help. It's going to make the self tanner not sick as well and it's not going to be as dark because the lotion almost acts as a barrier to the self tan sticking to your skin. So I would recommend not putting lotion on. Uh, right after you get out of the shower and if you're going to self tan But this little ship by Bondi Sands is really cool because this is the everyday gradual tanning milk This is a body moisturizer and this basically gradually Tans your skin as it says so you can use this say you have absolutely no self tan on You can add this and build up to a tan that you would like or I think what's really cool is that if you do already have, so say I apply this self tanner, maybe in three days, two days, I want the self tan to last longer. I add this every day so it keeps not only the tan moisturized because once you self tan, after I've self tanned and I wash this off later, I am going to add lotion. You have to add lotion every single day because dry skin is like the kryptonite of self tanning if you have dry skin and you don't lotion it then it will start getting flaky it doesn't matter what self tanner you have to moisturize so i like this because not only is it going to moisturize my self tan which i need but also it's going to help it keep the tan so i really 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 like that okay so now that i have tanned my arms i have tanned my legs my toes my fingers everything you guys are probably wondering how do you tan your back bondi sands thinks of everything they have a back tanning applicator so it's the same applicator mitt as the one i use to put my self tanner all over but so as you can see these areas right here i could reach technically with my hands like if i had the mitt here i can reach around right here and i can blend this in what the main problem is for getting your back is the middle part right here you guys can see that it's dark right here and it's dark right here but it's not dark right here so when you apply the self tanner onto this this makes it easier to get the center of your back my lower back is also easy because it's just like with the med, I can just use my lower back. It's really just for the center of my back is when I want to use this. So if you guys are struggling with adding self-tanner onto your back, I would recommend getting a back self-tanner. So that is it for my self-tanning routine. As you guys can see, I am so much tanner. I just feel glowy. I feel like a new woman with a tanner. So as you guys can see in this before and after, this is what I looked like before. And now I am a dark glowing goddess. This is also only with one 
layer of the Bondi Sands dark self tanning foam normally because I'm insane I will wait like an hour or two and I'll add another layer after this one dries a bit and sinks into my skin just in case I want to be a little bit darker that's normally if I'm wearing like a really nice dress or I'm going out somewhere I'll do more of a tan this is just like a good everyday tan that I love so if you guys are interested in getting Bondi Sands you guys can always go in the description bar down below and get yours it's also available at Walgreens and I'm extremely excited because I get to go to the Bondi Sands launch party at Coachella next weekend or whenever this is uploading this upcoming weekend I'm not sure when this is going up but at Coachella I get to go to the launch party they're launching a new product and I get to see it and I'm so excited because I'm going to be able to share it with you guys and I just can't wait because I'm going to be rocking my Bondi Sands the whole time at Coachella because a girl cannot naturally tan in the sun so this is what we do so thank you Bondi Sands I'm so excited to be there and if you guys want to see my trip to Coachella you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to this channel I'm going to be vlogging and I'm going to be uploading those vlogs either here or my vlog channel but you guys can always subscribe. Instagram is where I'm going to be most of the time though because I'm going to be posting stories and all that kind of stuff so thank you guys again so much for watching and if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Okay bye.